Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Bert the Stormtrooper and this is the home of That's Just Prime, the comprehensive Optimus Prime review series. I also review other Transformers, lots of G1 stuff, as well as Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Ghostbusters, GoBots, and pretty much any other toy that may jump out of me. I also do the occasional arcade and pinball machine videos, unboxings, blogs, challenges, and miscellaneous videos where my daughter usually makes fun of me. Those are a lot of fun. If you're new to the channel, thanks for checking me out. Please be sure to click that subscribe button and don't forget to give me a thumbs up and share if you like what you see. Autobots, roll out! Hello and welcome to That's Just Prime and today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Cyberverse Spark Armor Optimus Prime with Sky Turbine and I love this toy. Released in 2019, this guy is available right now as of the time of this recording and he retails for approximately $25. So Cyberverse is not a line that I've really been uh, getting into or even I haven't even watched the show. Uh, I've collected or picked up a couple of the Prime figures, but that's about it. Uh, and this is one guy that kind of caught my eye a little while ago. I've been holding off on picking it up. I finally did. And it's a pretty cool, fun little figure. Uh, it's not, you know, again, if you're a collector, it's not going to be up your alley. But it is a pretty cool, fun little figure. So Optimus here comes packaged with this jet. This is the Sky Turbine, which, you know, uh, opinions are going to vary. But it does have a little bit of resemblance to an F-14 Tomcat. So it's, it's kind of a jet fire-ish looking, if you will, uh, which is kind of cool. And then, of course, you got the little truck here. Hey, and then he comes with his instructions. That's about it. Not, not a whole lot more there. So the truck mode here is approximately four and a half inches long. It is about two inches tall. The jet turbine is about six and a half inches long, about two inches tall at the top of the fins right here with a wingspan of about six and a half inches. So it's about as, as long as it is wide. And the turbine is not going to do a whole lot here in vehicle mode. Uh, well, really, neither one of them is going to do anything here <laughs> in vehicle mode. Uh, and I think the vehicle mode is probably the weakest mode um, out of these guys. So Optimus' uh, truck mode right here, you can see. I guess it's a serviceable enough truck mode. The detail, the paint detail is lacking. So you can see right there on the on the grill, you know, you got a big red spot right there on the grill. They could have easily painted that. They didn't. Uh, the wheels are all black. These uh, front wheels here, or these middle wheels here, these are fake. They're just molded in. They don't even roll. So, you know, kind of a cheap, hollow little toy here. The back of the truck, you can see it's it's kind of a mess. There's no real back to the truck. You can see Optimus's head right there. The side details, uh, not great. Uh, this, this really doesn't even look like a truck. It really does kind of just look like a folded up robot arm. Um, so, yeah, not, not the best uh, robot mode. Um, you know, my kid doesn't mind it, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's, yeah. I mean, look at this back of this truck. This is, uh, I mean, as, as far as truck modes go, this is pretty weak, uh, but it's, it's a serviceable enough uh, truck mode. I suppose it does roll. So I guess it does that, uh, no trailer, well, there's no trailer options. Even if there was a trailer available for this, I don't think there's a way that's hooking up into it. So yeah, no, not the best truck. Uh, kind of weak mode. And then the, the jet is, uh, just that. It just, uh, the jet just sits there and is a jet. Uh, <laughs> it's got these big, uh, Gatling gun cannons here on the side. Um, the top of this thing is detailed quite nicely, actually. Uh, I think this is better detailed of, of a vehicle than this is. Uh, so you got some, you know, thrusters right there in the back and just kind of going around all the way around there. Now you get down to the bottom here and, you know, to be fair, I guess there's not any robot stuff hanging out. So there's that. Uh, it does have a landing gear here in the front. Of course, this wheel does not turn. It's just there for looks. And there's nothing in the back. Just these two pegs here kind of serve to keep it level. Uh, and that's about it. There's no action features. Nothing fires. It, it doesn't do anything. It just literally just kind of sits there. And then Optimus can, can roll. And that's about it. <laughs> not a whole lot happening here. Uh, transforming this guy is uh, pretty straightforward. I guess we'll call it a classic prime transformation uh, for the most part. We're going to take the front grill here and pull this off to the front, just like that. And just kind of leave it hang there for the moment. And then the arms are going to come out in the typical prime fashion. They are tabbed into the side of the leg right there. So just untab those. And then you want to straighten these out 
turn the forearm and then take this little panel right here with the fist and fold it in. I do kind of like the way they work that out. So it does kind of make the forearm a little smaller because he, you know, they got that, that wheel there in the forearm. I am not a fan of the wheel wells in the forearm, but at least this way they did manage to make it a little smaller and not the typical Popeye arm that they've been given prime. So that's, that's something, I guess. Same thing on this side, bring that down and rotate and bring the arm all the way out. Reach in the back here and pull the head up just like that. Stand them up, turn them around at the waist. Now that we've got them turned around, we can take this panel and bring it all the way up. Just like that. Separate the legs. There we go. And there is Prime in robot mode. And now the robot mode is uh, uh, better than the, the vehicle mode was. I do like this robot mode. It is approximately five inches tall, so it's, it's not a bad size. And uh, he looks pretty good. I actually do like the way this robot mode looks. The, the face sculpt leaves a little bit to be desired. Uh, but it's not terrible. It's not the worst thing we've ever seen. And uh, yeah, not not bad. Not bad. I don't know why they went with blue on the uh, hip piece here or on the waist piece. Um, really, that should have been silver. I mean, they painted this, this, and this over. Why didn't they just paint that while they were at it? I, I don't know. I don't know why they do things anymore. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, it's not a bad looking prime. I actually do like the way this prime looks going all the way around. Of course, the legs are hollow. We're going to get into these pieces here in a moment. And he's got that panel on his back. It's a bit of an eyesore, but it's not terrible. So there you go. Uh, Articulation-wise, uh, the head can turn. The arms on the shoulders here are on a ball joint. So these can go all the way around, and they'll have a little bit of back and forth due to transformation. A uh, little bit of out, not a whole lot. That's about it. Because uh, all of the articulation on this guy, by the way, is going to be due to transformation. So, again, due to transformation, we do have a rotation right there at the bicep. We have a bend at the elbow. We have a, uh, well, we had a rotation at the waist. But now that we've got this panel plugged in, it won't work. So, if you unplug this, then you'll have a rotation at the waist. And then the hips are on a ball joint. So, forwards, not a whole lot of backwards because of that panel uh, out there, once, once again. In and out, do have a rotation at the thigh right there and a bend at the knee. So, again, not terrible articulation. I'm not a fan of the truck mode, but this little robot is actually pretty cool. And since I display all my vehicles or all my uh, primes in robot mode anyway, well, most of them, uh, this is just fine. This will look fantastic on my shelf. I actually do like this robot mode. Okay, so we've got this jet thing here that doesn't do anything. <laughs> Let's bring the camera up just a little bit. And now we're going to go into the spark armor mode, I guess, is what it's called. Or did it have a different name? Sky armor or spark armor, sky turbine? I, I, you know what? Let's just combine them. <laughs> so we're going to come to the back here. And we're going to take this panel one more time, flip it down. And we're just going to take it down as far as it'll go and just snap it right there in place. It doesn't tab in anything or anything like that. It's snapping on the hinge itself. And then these pieces here are going to pull back for uh, heel support. That's it. And Prime is ready to go. Now we're going to take our jet. And you see we've got these two screw holes back here on the back of Prime. And if we look at the bottom of the jet, you remember these two pegs that we were looking at earlier. Those are going to plug in right there to those two screw holes. Okay. And now we're going to separate the jet right here. And this is going to come down, and I'm going to do my best here to keep my hands clear. Let me back up a little bit, bring it up, so that you can see the, the automatic action thing, I guess, that this does. So as you bring this nose cone down, you can see that hole right there. The head's going to go right into that hole. And as you bring this down, it's going to spin around. And then you can finish bringing this down. You're going to bend the cockpit down, and this hook is going to go into that slot right there on his waist. That will actually snap into place just like that and then these guns you can bring these up you can bring these down and then you can position his arms anywhere down here as you wish wherever you you see best and there is prime in his spark armor mode and again i think this looks pretty cool now the only gripe that i have about this is that it does not look like the artwork on the box i like this better i want something that looks like this this is cool this is not bad, but it's not that. That looks really, really cool. I want this, Hasbro. <laughs> Give me that. That looks cool. But that being said, this is also pretty cool. 
Uh, not as cool as a one on the box, but this is pretty cool. <laughs> he does uh, gain a little bit of height. So he went from uh, five inches. He is now five and a half at the top of the head here because of his helmet. Uh, six, if you want to go to the type, uh, uh, top of the turbines there. As far as articulation goes, nothing changes. He's still got all the same articulation that he had in robot mode. In fact, he actually gained uh, waist rotation, if you remember. Actually, he did not because he's got that thing attached to him. Let me... Uh, yeah, that's right, because the nose cone is actually clipped into the waist. So, no, he didn't. I thought he maybe he gained waist articulation. He did not. Uh, this head, this is a separate head of this helmet here, but it is on a rotation, so you can actually turn this head as well. So, you know, all the other articulation is still there, and it's, you know, just as hindered as it was before now because he's got these other attachments, kind of thing like that. So, oh, what happened there? So, I guess I locked that out, huh? Okay, so to unlock it, we we'll just have to... Rotate it again. There you go. If that rotation motion unlocks those guns so that you can bring them out to the front there. So we'll snap that back into place. There he is. Okay, so note. Uh, that's a good note. Don't uh, push these all the way back in robot mode or you have to take the armor off to unlock them again. So... Um, so yeah, articulation is all going to be the same, uh, and it's just as hindered by the armor as, as it was in regular robot mode. So not a whole lot of difference there going all the way around. This actually looks cool. I really do like that. Yes, he's gained a backpack, but it's a believable or understandable or acceptable backpack because he's got this jet wing mode on him now. So yeah, not a, it's, and it's not very kibbly. It looks, you know, it's just, it's just wings on a backpack. So it's not like he's got a whole lot of kibble and robot mess hanging out of the back there. So pretty cool. Yeah, again, um, did not care too much for the vehicle modes. That ro the truck mode just looks lazy. There's no detail to it. It's it's a terrible truck mode. Uh, the jet looks fine enough, I guess, but it doesn't do anything. Uh, but the robot mode and then the combined robot mode both look pretty cool. And this is going to look really nice on my prime shelf. And I think that about covers Transformers Cyberverse Spark Armor Optimus Prime with Sky Turbine. Now, I did mention this guy retails for approximately $25. I personally don't think it's worth that much. It's a cool little toy. It's a cool little kid's toy. It's a cool little novelty, but I don't think it's worth $25. We had a $20 off uh, $100 purchase at Target coupon, uh, which we go to Target and do most of our shopping at anyway. So spending a hundred dollars at Target is, is, is kind of normal for us. So it was just a matter of doing a normal shopping day for us at Target and then picking this guy up. And I only paid five bucks for him. So for five, but this is why I've been holding off on him because I did not want to pay 25. I've been waiting for him to go on sale. Uh, the coupon allowed me to get him for five bucks. I said, that's, that's it. I'm get, I know exactly what I'm getting with this coupon. So for this kind of price, yes, I know some of the outlet stores are starting to get them. I've seen them for as low as 20 to 15 bucks. If you can find them for that price and you think that's fair, uh, definitely better than 25. I don't think it's worth 25. So yeah, so that's it for Cyberverse, uh, Spark Armor, Optimus Prime, and Sky Turbine. What did you think of this figure? Please let me know by leaving me a comment down below. Give me some thumbs up. Subscribe and share with your friends if you like what you see. The way we are going to keep this channel growing and going on is by subscribing and by sharing with your friends. You know that notifications are going away and suggested videos are going away. So the only way we're going to keep this going is with your help. Please subscribe. Please spread the word. Please share with your friends if you like what you see. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll talk to you next time on That's Just Prime.